Oh, I found it. Oh. Hello, I'm Abyx Toy Cat, and that was my reaction to first finding diamonds back in 2012. And obviously, nowadays when I mine for them, I'm significantly less excited. You could easily blame this on inflation, either of the diamonds or of my expectations around them. However, I think there are actually two main culprits for why diamonds are less valuable than they used to be. One is that there are many other late game items that don't involve diamonds at all, like the Mace, Elytra, and Neverite upgrade. And the other is the fact that when you actually want diamond gear, you rarely need to mine diamonds to get them. The diamond item itself isn't that useful, and today I intend to prove both of these points and then talk about what Mojang could actually do about it, because is this a real big problem? Let's discuss it by jumping right into it today, and by the way, showing you one of the valuable items which has a higher uh, utility value than diamonds to many people. But first things first, there are 14 things you can now craft with diamonds, which is higher than it used to be in Classic and Beta. Some people would just say there are more items that don't involve diamonds, but 14 separate uses is pretty good, and these do cover a lot of different things from some of the best armor, some of the best tools, a jukebox and an enchantment table, as well as upgrading any smithing template, trims and all, and also the firework star exists technically and so does the diamond block. But interestingly when you look at these gear, you can see that the most valuable among them, the four separate pieces of armor and the five separate tools, can all be found in rare chests, in, uh, most importantly in end cities, but elsewhere across your game and also can be reliably traded for. Because all of these have durability, they're the ones that you would be crafting the most, but actually crafting is not the most efficient way to get five separate pairs of leggings. Instead, you can trade for them with a villager, and they'll even come pre-enchanted too. So that means that out of the 14 uses we have for diamonds, really the number that we need to mine for goes down to five. And then when you look at those five, you can see there's a diamond block. This is purely a visual block, and it's a very expensive visual block. And so you get down to five, but one of them is visual. One of them is the enchantment table, which is substantially less valuable now because of this same, uh, you know, kind of overvaluing of uh, enchantments that you can get from books and from trading rather than from the table itself. In fact, there are enchantments the enchantment table can't give you. Mending is the most famous of these. And so many people will make an enchantment table, but they definitely don't need to make dozens of them because its value doesn't increase. And also, and indeed, it decreases as your ability goes onwards. And so really, you get down to like four main uses for it. And once we talk about the fact that obviously a fireworks star, this is what you can do. If you're willing to craft it, you can have a diamond effect, which looks like that. It's kind of nice, but was that worth spending a diamond on? Most people have always said no, even since uh, the day it came out. And so really you're down to three separate uses, which is to say you can make jukeboxes, which has gone up in value because of great new discs. You can make the uh, upgrades for the trims. This is a great way to use up your diamonds and you can make diamond blocks. These are the three repeatable uses for diamonds. And it's just not as many as it used to be in terms of practicality, which is to say you used to have to craft a new diamond picks every time your one ran out. But nowadays, not only do you have a neverite pickaxe, but also it never runs out because of mending, which means the uses for diamonds has gone down. But the other part of this, uh, you know, the other point here is that they've added lots of other valuable things. You know, look at this pile of junk, by the way. Absolutely worthless. I don't need any of this in my life. I would rather have some of the other items they've added, which are much more valuable. Here are 10 things more valuable than diamonds. And I think you'll agree with every single one of these. First things first, ancient debris, literally. I mean, everyone knows that you can use ancient debris uh, to craft yourself uh, some neverite, and neverite is just better than diamonds. Uh, there's there's basically no way in which it's not. I think that neverite is a little overrated when it comes to armor, because who really needs knockback resistance? But you get more durability, or you get more uh, power with the pickaxes and the swords, and so ancient debris is more hotly sought, up, sought after than diamonds ever was, which is a shame in my opinion. I, I do feel like mining around Neverack is a bit more boring because you won't find other things. You won't find any natural caves or other ores besides quartz and gold. And so mining for ancient debris has replaced mining for diamonds, but it is kind of a shame in that way. The second thing that has replaced mining for diamonds is the heart of the sea. This is more valuable because it can be used for conduits. And unlike diamonds, which are basically infinite based on how much you're willing to search, hearts of the sea will only generate into your world in chests. Uh, you have to find buried treasure. And that makes the 
them very, very hard to find in large numbers. And this is something that I really enjoy looking for because conduits are a cool block. You can use them for decoration or you can use them to see underwater, but they're a really fun late game block that are kind of like a water beacon, which I personally do quite like. Speaking of water beacon, what about an air beacon? The Elytra gives you the ability to not take full damage in midair and do even better than that and start flying around. I would show you, but I'm indoors. You know, actually, I, I, just because I'm indoors, it doesn't mean I can't show you. Here is my Elytra, and here are my much worse firework rockets for the job, by the way. Here is what they'll look like. Okay, so I've just got to avoid that explosion. Okay, I didn't do a good job. But uh, yeah, ultimately, you can see the Elytra is much better when you don't combine it with diamonds, and it is much more powerful than any diamond item I showed you previously uh, by a huge spectrum. Speaking of spectrum, the Wither Skull is an interesting one because this can be, uh, you know, this is a valuable item which does take a 1 in 40 drop chance, so it can be in theory more frequently found than the diamonds, but it does give you more utility at the same time because three of these allows you to craft a Wither, which allows you to get a beacon, which is like a water beacon, but like for land that you can use everywhere all of the time. They're incredible. You should try one out. Speaking of try one out, have you ever tried out a spawner cage? This is an item which you can only generate in the world the first time you get it, like I mentioned with the conduit. It's really, really interesting because these are rare and unique items that can be used for XP farms or string farms or <laughs> not rotten flesh farms, I assume, but you can use them for any type of farm you like and they are only generated once if you're not playing half creative, half survival or editing your world. When you find a spawner cage, you have a serious change to how you experience your world in a way you just don't when you find diamonds. Next up here, we've got the Trident. This is a really, really cool weapon. If you've never experienced one of these Riptide flying around the world, it's great. But here's the funny thing about it. What damage does a diamond sword do? You know, I'll make a little quiz for you. You can pause it if you want to guess, but it's the, the damage of a diamond sword. The, the, the trick here is it's less than a trident. A trident, a weapon you get for free for killing something, which you can do in the first 10 seconds of your world, is more valuable than a diamond sword. And can you do that with your diamond sword? I don't think so. I certainly hope you can't do so. Uh, just like I hope uh, that you don't eat any enchanted golden apples that you find, this has always been more valuable than the diamonds, and it's, it's always been a niche situation, because because how often do you need to get eight extra hearts and also need to have the resistance effect as well as all of these other great things that you get? The answer is not that often, but ultimately when you find an enchanted golden apple, I would say this is the closest you feel to that old diamond feeling of, oh my god, my world is going to get easier, things are getting good for me right now, and this is kind of down to expectations, but it's also interesting. Just like the Toad of Mund Dying, uh, it is powerful. Not bit, any, no source in the game, whether it be a uh, 1,000 damage mace, or whether it be a Wither, who is hell-bent on killing you, no damage source in the game can kill you with a Toad of Mund Dying. Only the things that insta-kill you can. So, the example of is obviously jumping out of the end, or your world, and that is a powerful thing. Every hardcore world in existence uses a Toad of Mund Dying to ensure that they don't need to die on the difficulty where there's no death. It has become so powerful, it is basically meta-defining, because why would you live a life without one of these? The answer is obviously you wouldn't. Speaking of obviously you wouldn't, Emerald Ore. Emeralds themselves are valuable because they can be used to trade for diamond things. Ultimately, emeralds have become the currency that you trade for diamonds with in a weird roundabout way, but emeralds themselves are really, really cool. You can use them. Uh, the, the emerald ore itself is one of the rarest ores you'll find in your world. I was When I collected every single block that existed in Minecraft before 1.0, Point 14, the emerald was the one that kept me up the longest because it's so, so hard to get your hands on. And so emerald door is the new diamond door in a weird way. And finally, this is a weird one to say, but what is more valuable than diamonds, right? We've gone through a whole lovely collection here of things that are more useful to the player than diamonds. But interestingly, do you know what's more useful to the player than diamonds? You might not guess it, but it's diamond ore. When you find diamond ore now, if you mine it into diamonds, it almost feels like a waste. Early in your game, you need to do precisely this, sure. But once you've got enough diamonds to make your first set of armor, and you've secured your trading for the rest, and ultimately diamonds become only useful for diamond blocks, you might as well get diamond ore, because it is a slightly better flex than a diamond block, and it is going to be much more useful than having another pile of diamonds. And so so that is why I do precisely that. Anyway, with that said, those are 10 items 
items that are more valuable than uh, diamonds now. That's before we talk about things like the mace and everything they're going to continue to add in future Minecraft updates. But this is hopefully a good taste for you that, yeah, all of these things did not exist 10 years ago when I first found diamonds. And there will be more and more things better than diamonds because of the natural ways that games go. Or is it the natural ways that games go? Because for as long as there have been video games that receive updates, there has been a concept known as power creep. This is best explained with just this one image right here, showing a card that came from the basic set of Hearthstone, i.e. released with the game, and then a card that came out three expansions later. These two cards are identical in every single way except for the right one having more health. This is because it is newer and they needed to give you a reason to use it over the old one, so they just made it better. However, at the same time, they made the card on the left near worthless in basically every single way. This is a problem every game has, especially from a financial point of view. If you want people to enjoy your new content, the easiest way is to take something that exists and make it better in every single way, making the new one the logical improvement. You could compare, for example, the crossbow to Neverite, where the crossbow is not that popular even now. It has unique enchantments and does really cool things, but just isn't really as preferred when it comes to the bow. However, Neverite is usually the go-to instead of diamond because it's better in every single way. It's just a little bit harder to obtain. And so if you use this concept of power creep, you can look through Minecraft and easily say, yeah, so the reason that we get so many more diamonds is because diamonds got less valuable. And the reason diamonds got less valuable is because they needed things that were better than them. However, I would say Minecraft has done a fairly good job of balancing this. But unlike a lot of games that have fallen into this, whether it's Hearthstone with their new cards or Call of Duty adding better guns, uh, the reason that most games need to add better loot for you is because they want you to pay for their new expansions, whereas Minecraft releases all of their updates for free, which means their incentive is just to get you to play around with the new stuff, and that means it might even be worse, but as long as it's worth playing with, it's a win. A prime example of this can be found in the Mace, an upcoming 1.21 item, which is incredibly great at dealing thousands of damage, but in reality, it's mostly just a fun, quirky weapon that you're excited to get, but won't be replacing your Neverite Sword of Sharpness 5 anytime soon for PvP or really most combat, and that is the genius of most Minecraft updates, but despite all of these attempts to move sideways and not necessarily have direct upgrades, it is indisputable that Minecraft have inadvertently created power creep. This is something you can see in basically every update, even in beta, when they move from one diamond ore generation formula to another, they increase the total amount by 25%, but basically every update since the game has come out has touched diamonds in some way. Whether it is 1.9 and the ability to find diamonds in the new end cities, they've got to give you a reason to go out there, right? Whether it's 1.13, the update aquatic, which clearly was all about, you know, oceans and so shouldn't have touched diamonds. Nope, you'll find diamonds in these new underwater chests. Uh, whether it is the village and pillage update, which I mean, to be fair, actually, this is excluded because it's just emeralds they traded more, except nope, to give you a reason to trade those emeralds, you could now get diamond gear in enchantable formations, as well as the new way to get uh, any enchantment you want from trading with villagers, which means that now not only do you need diamonds less, but also you can get fortune on your pickaxe and mine for even more. Neverite is the classic version of a literal upgrade to diamonds. Diamonds are not the best gear in the game anymore, which means that you needed fewer diamonds already and got more diamonds, but now you literally didn't need any diamond gear because you could already go straight to Neverite. And as already discussed, the Caves and Cliffs update massively increased the number of diamonds that you would find in your world by using Expiration, which is way more fun, but how do Minecraft encourage you to mine for diamonds in a different way rather than just strip mining instead looking around for them? They give you more diamonds with the new method than the old method, and this is the ultimate reality. It's something uh, that you'll notice in real life too, but people would much rather things stay the same or increase than go down. Rather than saying that here is the new option, which works the same way as the old one does, and the old one gets worse, it's much better just to say that the new one is better and the old one is staying the same. This is part of the reason why inflation is good for economies. It's because wages are very sticky in the real world. That is to say that if you were doing uh, less productive of a job and your business was earning less, rather than paying workers less, you would just have to fire them because few people would accept a pay cut. However, inflation means that you can just not give people pay rises and effectively achieve the same thing, which is why if you see that something costs the same last year as this year, it effectively went down in price relative to everyone else's spending power. But an aside on inflation, I, I, I do just want to say that this is something that Mojang have decided to ramp up rather than ramping down. Interestingly, when you look at 1.19, ancient cities, new ways to find diamonds. Look at 1.21, the new trial chambers, and they've got unique loot all over the place, but they've also still got brand new ways to find diamond gear. Diamonds are 
are a really easy tool to encourage people to feel excited and the more places they give them to you, the more ways they can get you excited to explore different parts of the game. But eventually this does have an end. Eventually they've given you so many ways to find diamonds that they don't feel special anymore and they need to work out the next level up from that. And this is a problem that gets worse and worse and worse. Is it something that Minecraft needs to deal with right now? I would say no. I think there's a few updates till people start to notice they're being flooded by the diamonds, but is it something they need to fix in general? Yes, I think it is. As much as I would say Minecraft doesn't power creep as much as other games, it is still not immune from the concept that every update needs to be better than the last, and what's the easiest way to make people like something? Well, you give them free money for it, which is why uh, there is free money for you if you hit the like and subscribe button. It doesn't actually happen, but if you think about it, by not losing money, you're basically making money and just try not to think about that one too hard. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!